In this video, I will talk about the top three books that have made me into the investor I am today. Hello, my name is Jose, and this is the first episode of Things I Wish I Knew. If you guys follow me, I do another series called Buy or Pass, where I look at the financial documents of a company and decide if I was looking for another investment, would I buy or pass? Sometimes the topics I talk about in that series are somewhat advanced for the intro investors. So I have decided to make a series of my beginning steps into becoming an investor. I will share information that has helped me grow both my knowledge and has given me the opportunity to grow my experience. Before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get in for new episodes and other videos. So let's begin. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna talk about my top three books. So these are books I wish I would have read when I was either in high school, about to finish high school, even if when I was in eighth grade. These books opened up my eyes. And when you hear people say that, hey, these books, when I read them, they completely changed my life. These three books have definitely done that. If I did not read these three books, I would not be here today doing this video. I definitely would not be investing in the stocks. I definitely would not be looking for other sources of income to be able to live a financial freedom life in the future. And for that, I do believe I owe a lot to these three books and I wanna share them with you guys so you guys can see the three books. Just for also, I'll post the links to the top, top to my books down below, either both in Amazon, I'm pretty sure you can find all these books in Amazon. I'll also post the, um, the um, audible version for those that like to listen while, while they drive to commute to work, which is where I do most of my, my book listening or reading. So for the first, I'm gonna talk about Tony Robinson's Money Mark Money, master the game seven simple steps to financial freedom so sorry for all those bookies book guys that really love their books this book has seen a lot of damage but it has provided me with a lot of information if you can see i've highlighted have so much information highlighted in these books that has helped me become the investor i am today so let me first tell you guys sometimes I do hear negative reviews about Tony Robinson's and I do feel like a lot of people talk about him in like a cult manner. The thing I want to first mention is I do feel like you can always learn something from anyone being a kid to someone 70 years old. There's always something you can learn. You just got to understand what it is that you're learning from them. You got to be able to grab the correct information and put aside and throw away the other information. I try to go to many seminars, free seminars, right? Where I try to learn about different sources of income as well. A lot of these seminars are sales pitch, but during these, between these sales pitch, these people introduce you or give you some information that could be useful. And that's the reason I go to these seminars. It's not to be sold to, is I understand they're gonna try to sell me stuff. I already go with that mentality, but you got to know that they're also gonna provide you with some information that you can pull from them that has saved you, even though it's a one, two hour seminar, it would have taken you eight, 10 hours for you to grab that information if you searched it yourself. But like I mentioned, there's always something you can learn from someone. And that's from Tony Robinson's. I know some people don't like to listen to him because they feel he's trying to sell some different form of pitch, but you just gotta read the book and be able to collect the right information. And that's what I did with this book. This is, I think, the only material I've read from Tony Robinson. I did not become a Tony Robinson's cult follower where now I follow him all over the world, right? But in this book, he teaches you great things. He teaches you how easy it is to become financially free before you retire. He shows you steps of, one of the steps that he showed me, I read this book probably four or five years ago when I was around 20, 20 years old. I'm 26 right now. So I read it about six years ago and he mentioned something there where it helped me out right now. He mentioned that a great way to help pay off, to save so much money is by making an extra principal payment on your mortgage. And it was crazy. It's like he showed you examples. If you paid an extra $100 in a 30 year loan, this is how much money, thousands and thousands of dollars you save on interest alone. So just by putting an extra $100 on paying your mortgage, instead of saving it somewhere where it's not collecting you money, you save thousands and thousands of dollars. So again, 
Um, my wife and I, we just recently bought a house. We're probably, pro right, I forget how much we're putting, or I think we're putting around $300, $350 extra a month on our principal. And by doing this, we're actually saving about forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 on interest, even more, and reducing our mortgage by like eight to nine years. So making our 30-year mortgage to 22. Obviously, if we can, we'll pay more and reduce that mortgage rate lower. And at the same time, right, we have an X percent of interest rate we're pretty much saving that percentage on interest rate so stuff like that you learn in this book he also talks about this is where i first learned about the stock market obviously as a high school student i knew about it but i didn't really know the details of it this book he tells you exactly um what are some of the ways you can invest in the stock market he talks about the most important um the most not most important but the most used which is 401k mutual funds and stuff like that he lets you know he tells you tricks on how to save money in there right now you can probably be paying like three two percent fees on your mutual fund or your 401k with targeted funds he tells you why this is a bad thing how you're reducing the amount of money in the future by paying an extra one percent can really can really change your future and he gives you examples of where what other type of funds you can actually put it to to save that money he also shares stories of how everyday workers can save money and how they've made it at 65 let me just quickly read some of the sections to just re remind me of some of the things i talked about i read so first he just talks about like i mentioned the 401k and ways to to take to improve your plans there how to save more and invest the difference so this is one of the another thing i've learned from this book um let's say you get a promotion in a job and you're making 20 30 thousand dollars more now due to your promotion most people instead of saving that 20 to 30 extra thousand dollars they start spending 20 to 30 extra dollars thousand dollars more a year so that money they've actually increased in their income it's actually um washed out with the amount of money they sold with the amount of money they spent so in reality they're not saving more but if you were to save that extra twenty thousand or thirty extra thousand dollars on if you were to save that extra twenty thirty extra thousand from that promotion the amount the time it would reduce for you to become financially free has reduced by x amount of years so he talks about that like i mentioned lifestyles different different strategies he also talks about some of the greatest greatest uh, investors of all times so this is the book that first got me to go like hey i need to find a way to become financially free at not unfortunately this age talk this book talks about in after retirement so that got me into that mindset where i need to become financially free before i retire now i wanted to speed up that process and that's when I started to go, hey, I want to study the stock market. I want to study companies. I want to go and do this. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, um, it was actually a good thing. I was already, I had already graduated college. I was a full-time engineer. And I was collecting income from an engineer, which is not too bad. So I was able to invest. But I do believe I enjoy the stock market so much that I'm able to I make it my part-time job. To me, it's a part-time job. I come home, I help the wife out with everything, and then late at night, I'm here reading, doing research, doing my YouTube videos. I, I actually love it so much, I make YouTube videos about the stock market. That's, I, I do feel if I would have learned about this book long time before I, cho I decided to be an engineer, I might have chosen some form of stock um, financial industry. But hey, it's never too late, and that's why I keep learning and doing the grind every day. But that book, it can lead you into different directions. It can lead you to the stock market. It can lead you into real estate. It can lead you into all these forms of ways to become financially independent. For me, it was the stock market. And when I first started to learn about the stock market, I didn't know how to buy a stock. I didn't even know what a stock was. I didn't know how to value a stock, why a stock was worth that value why investing a hundred dollars into a ten dollar stock is almost a, is the same thing as investing a hundred dollars into a one stock price at a hundred dollars so this is the book i read the neatest little guide to stock market investing by jason kelly this was the first book 
and I think I read the first three chapters, and the first three chapters were introduction on what, how to buy, how to properly buy a stock, like what broker to use. I think this book might be a little outdated. They used a lot of old old brokers back then, but the in the concept in this book is gold. And to me, this is my number one stock investing book. I know a lot of people do the Warren Buffett book or um, the Intelligent Investor, but this is to me the number one introduction if you want to learn about the stock market. It's super small. I'm pretty sure you can you guys can read it in like one weekend. If you're a strong reader, you can probably pick it up today and finish it tonight and your mind will be blown on how to invest in the stock market. So again, in this, this book, it teaches you about what is a stock, right? Just a pretty much introduction for you to understand the stock market, how to buy. Then it actually teaches you how to evaluate stocks. It also teaches you about some of the greatest stock masters and different strategies, right? Different strategies. From here, it teaches you about fundamental analysis and technical analysis this is something i'll explain in some others in some other series but it, it just teaches you different ways to make money in the stock market and that's why this will be my second book to read number three will have to be i don't have the actual book but it's by this arthur dale um you can't pronounce the last name but it's the book how to win friends and influence people. I'm pretty sure a friend of mine in college, freshman year, gave me this book to read. Um, the one, the actual book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. To recruit people. And I didn't read it. And I really wish I would have read it. I listened to the audible book. And to me, that book changed my life to the way I talk to people. It actually helped me develop self-confidence i feel back then i wasn't able to go up and talk to random people and just explain explain things to them with this book i feel i'm able to do youtube videos now because i'm able to communicate what i want to say and i think that's such a strong book for life in general this is one of the few books i gave out to my friends in christmas i think some of my friends hated me for giving them this book but i do think the mount of knowledge you can get from that book is amazing and I wish my friends read it and I hope one day they see this video and they're like hey thanks Jose for giving me this book it's helped me out throughout life to me this was again all these three books have been great to me there's another book that my wife started reading so my wife again she's an engineer intelligent woman very intelligent but I, I don't know why um, sometimes even even though you're so smart the topics here are so easy to learn, but just because you're not aware of them at a younger age, you feel like they're impossible to get to. And I've always told my wife, hey, read this book, check it out. Maybe we can do stuff together and learn stuff together. My wife didn't really want to read, you know, read them. Recently, like four or five years after I stopped bugging her, three months ago, she started reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad which I think it's a pretty good supplement for this book. So I'm also put the link for it. I think it shares similar concepts to it. Uh, I, I didn't read that book because I, I, I might pick it up, the Audible, um, but I do feel it shows you the same amount of topics that I've learned from that book. And when she read that book, she listened to the Audible, she's like, babe, did you know, did you know that this, this, this is a great way to make money? Or this is this will help us grow and, and become passive income and grab passive income and um, lead our way to financial freedom. And I'm like, babe, I told you this three, four years ago. I wish you would have listened then. But like I've mentioned, it, it sometimes it, it's you need to be the one to go and pick up that book. I went and pick it up. And for me, that's where I really learned. If someone was to tell me about this book, and I didn't really have the energy to go out there and read it, I probably would have not learned as much as I did by me having my own self-determination to pick up that book and read it. And I actually do not remember what was the reason I picked up that book, but I'm so happy I did. So that's another great book. I'll post that one too next to this one. So that's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I, um, I'll definitely take a listen to it too. So like I said, um, those are the top three books, top three, four books I wish I would have known before 
I started investing. They explain so much. And I hope you guys in the comments take up time to at least read one of those books. I can I promise you, if you are not familiar with the investment or the investment life, or if you feel investing is not for you, pick up the book. It will change. Pick up one of those books. One of them. It will change your life forever. And I'm telling you, it'll be a great thing. So post a comment, please. Let me know which book was the one you picked up. Have you read these books? Do you feel the same way about me in these books? And if you guys have any other books you guys would like to share for other people to read, feel free to post them in the comments so other, other viewers can, can take a look at them. Even now, maybe it's a book I haven't read. But like I said, even if you want to do real estate investment, start your own company or something, read those books just so you can see, right? Let's say you're starting your own company. That stock marketing book tells you great things about, about companies, balance sheet and stuff like that. So it'll help you become more knowledgeable with, with building a business on its own. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my website, josenaharo.com, where all the content there is free. Again, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time, guys.